Hi, um, I'm recording this because I have a test in two days and part of that huge test is a little part of knowing all the cranial nerves and what's motor, what's sensor and how to check for these specific cranial nerves um, and also you know the definitions and their Latin names and yada yada yada. So I was looking for ways, easy ways to remember them um, since that's how my brain works and shortcuts. Uh, so, I found a couple of helps, helpful websites, mostly Wikipedia, which I found that actually interesting, that could help you learn for tests. Um, they give you short ways to remember the specific order, and which one's motor and sensor. And also I found my own ways of, to remember specific definitions. So if you want to listen, here we go. Okay, the first one is to remember this, the order. Once you have the order, you can fill in which is the name of each thing. Okay, so I used to be a fan of Harry Potter, so I have 12, I found in one of the sites a sentence in which I can remember the order. It's an anagram, so it means that every letter of every word is also the first letter of every nerve. Okay, so it goes like this. Oh, 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 they traveled and found Voldemort guarding very ancient secret Horcruxes. Okay? The second one, which was actually, it's kind of rude, but I told some of my friends and they saw, thought actually this was the better one, so who am I to judge? Um, okay. Oh, 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 again. To touch and feel a virgin girl's hymen, sorry. Stop, strike that. Oh, 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 to touch and feel a virgin girl's vagina and hymen. Take what you wish. I can remember Harry Potter better than something rude. Second way to remember is to remember which one is motor and which one is sensory. Because some of them are just, or some of them are both, or some of them... It's really annoying. Anyway, so, I found a sentence that gives me all that. Um... So the sentence is made out of words which either start with the letter B, S, or M. B stands for both nerves, sorry, both uh, sensory or mo and motor. M st stands for motor and S stands for sensory. Okay, so the next sentence is made out of B, S, or M. And that means, in that specific order, which nerve is either motor, sensor, or both. Okay, I hope that you understand that. Okay, so the sentence is this. Some say marry money, but my brother says bad business marry money. Okay, that said. So I'm just going to go over those two. So to remember the actual order of the words, there is O O O. They traveled and found Voldemort guarding very ancient secret Horcruxes. And to remember which is sensory motor, it's some say, sorry. Some say marry money, but my brother says bad business marry money. Okay, now I'll explain the certain words, nerves that I found, little trick ways to remember what the Latin version means when it really doesn't have anything to sound like or anything. So here we go. Not all of them, but some. Uh, the first one, olfactory which means sense of smell. I figure if it's an old factory, it's going to stink. So there you go. Second one is optic, which means vision. There really isn't much I can enhance on that. It means vision. Uh, third, ocular motor. Same thing, you know, ocular and motor, they both mean see and movement. So, you know, that's exactly basically what it means. The fourth one is the trochlear, or trochlear, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so I broke it down to T R O C H, and the rest is not really important. Um, in Hebrew, when you drop drop something, it someone will write in the paper that the sound was trach, like trach. That's what it sounds like. So when you drop something, it makes that sound, okay? And the movement of this nerve is downward, so downward you're dropping something, Toch. and then the next part of this 
nerve is the inward movement of the eye. Now when you drop something, like my pencil, it rolls inward, it doesn't roll away from me. Okay, so troch. And when you drop something, it rolls. So basically this word means, uh, troch means a downward and inward movement of the eye. So there you go. I dropped it and it rolled inward. Okay. Um, the trigeminal. Uh, again, I mean, I just remembered that it has to do with the face. <laughs> um, other than that, can I help you? Uh, six. Now six I actually just came up with. Um, abdicum or something like that, which means lateral deviation of the eye, which means the eye moves that way. Um, so if you're probably learning this, you already know what the word abduction means, like when you're moving your body. So this would be abduction, and bringing it close is adduction. So if I'm bringing, if the movement is lateral, then the same thing. The eye it moves away. So, you know that 2, 3, 4, and 6 all have to do with the movement of the eye. Otherwise, you need to know that. <laughs> That's your stuff. So, 2, 3, 4, 6. Make up a rhyme for that. I don't have one. I just remember that one. So, abdicans. Remember abduction. 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 <laughs> abdican. 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 All right. Um, seven is the facial. Now, again, can't help you with that one. But this is where it's really important to have that know which is motor and sensor because this has both, and so does five. So you need to know also about taste and stuff like that. Okay. Um, the acoustic, which is also called the vesti vestibular cochlear. Um, Again, vestibular means balance, and cochlear means, you know, ear, hearing, so, can't help you. Same thing for the glossopharyngeal, can't help you. Vagus, vagus, can't help you. The spinal accessory, um, 11, I just saw this somewhere, I don't remember some video on YouTube. Um, now, it's a motor movement of the sternomastoid and the upper portion of the trapezius. So, I saw this girl do this thing which does 11, 1 here, 1 here, and she lifted it up. So, I don't remember how much the, the sternomastoid has to do with lifting, but the trapezius does, and if you remember that that, that, that nerve has two muscles, so you'll remember. If you want, you can also remember one, one. So that makes up 11. Um, 12, hypoglossal. Glossal means tongue. Mm. Can't help you. Unless you think hypo sounds like hyper, and when you're hyper, you move a lot, so this is the motor, motor movement of the tongue. You can believe, think it says hyperglossal instead of hypo. Well, that's my take on the cranial nerves. I hope I, hope I helped someone because I need to know this. And uh, I'm gonna let this run for a bit because apparently every video I've been uploading from YouTube has been cutting off half of what I uploaded, so just bear with me for a few more minutes and we'll see how it goes. So what else can I say while I'm wasting my time? I'm studying for nursing. It's uh, the physical examination exam. Big exam. Um, which we have, first we have the physical and then the uh, what's it called? 